guys. So you may be wondering where I am because this is not my house and this is not Becca's house and those are usually the only two places that I film from. However, I have had a bit of an issue with my neighbours as of late and my nana is away and I said to her, if I have any issues, is there any chance I can just go to yours and hang out at yours for a bit just to kind of give myself a break? And she was like, yep, that's absolutely fine, which I kind of knew it would be anyway. So they haven't, they, they were a little bit yesterday, but not too bad. And then this morning I have a writing session with a friend and so we're gonna do some writing from about 11 until 2 and I was like I don't want to be writing if there's any issues so I said um, I, I said to myself that I was going to come here and I was going to do some writing and then I kind of thought about it and I was like Becca's got sprints tomorrow what I might do is I might do some reading as well. So I'm going to do like a mini, I'm going to do like a mini 24 hour readathon. I'm going to do the timer one and I'm going to start it this weekend and try and get as much reading done as possible. So I've both brought three books with me. Um, one of them is on my OTBR. Um, one of them is Deadline. I am about halfway through this. This is a reread. I love this book. I got this for my birthday from Andy, thank you very much Andy. I'd read it before, however I've lost my copy because I'm an idiot. And yeah, after reading Feed, I wanted to reread the sequel. This is one of my least favourite sequels ever. It has very, very serious middle book syndrome. However, I really wanted to read it. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm really enjoying it a lot more than I have in the past. So that's good. And yeah. I've only reread this one once before. No, read this one once before. And I think that's the reason I've never reread it is because I really didn't enjoy it. Now, however, I am a lot older. I read this in 2011 originally, so I'm a lot older and I'm a lot more experienced with life. And I'm actually really enjoying this a lot more than I did the first one, the first time around. Um, so I'm gonna reread this and I'm hoping to finish that. I've got like, how many pages? 300 pages left to read, so that's not too bad. Then we have my, this is a, this is on my TBR, this is my read, read -thon, um, it read along of Massalong and I'm reading um, A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, we have the live show on the 11th, I think, for this. And this is a long book, this is like 600 and odd pages, so this will take me a while however this one does go really really quickly and also it is a reread obviously so I'm excited for that um but I thought if I can get a good chunk of this done because I have like very very little time to actually start things so if I get a good chunk of this done amazing my final book that I've brought I do have like books I can read on kindle I have books I can read on um, I can listen to. I have two two books that I have to read for my, my TBR are on audio and I have the, the audio books for those so I could read those if I wanted to. However, I also have A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett Sinclair. Becca read this, she really really enjoyed it and not only that but my friend picked up the third one and she was like, I'm really excited to read it and I was like, I'm here to tell you this, but it's not the first one. So it's kind of been playing on my mind a little bit since then. So yeah, how many pages is that? That's not too many. That's almost, that's just shy of 400 pages. So I've got a good little stack of books that I want to read. And I don't know how many. I'm not, I'm not forcing myself to read. I'm going to kind of see how much I want to get done. But I just thought, I just thought in a chill environment that um, I would be able to get a little bit more done than anticipated. So I decided to come here and do uh, some reading and start this 24-hour readathon. I'm hoping to get this up on Wednesday, so fingers crossed. And if I don't, I'm just going to kind of put the footage together. This might not end up being a 24-hour readathon. This might just be a bank holiday weekend readathon. We'll see. Um, I read absolutely nothing yesterday. Yesterday was a very, very um, people-heavy day, so I had to go to um, my friends who I'm doing the writing thing with, um, to get a dress taken in for my nana. Then I went to, out for a meal with some friends for a belated birthday thing. And then 
I, by the time I got home, I did not want to read. I just wanted to decompress. Um, so I went to, I went on TikTok for a bit. And then after I went on TikTok, I went and watched a bunch of Doctor Who because I'm trying to catch up with the, um, the revival series because I kind of left it at Capaldi and not because of Capaldi I feel like I need to preface this with I did not hit Capaldi as a doctor I hit it the writing and the writing really went downhill and I just stopped watching because I was like I don't care um but then Russell T Davies came back and I really enjoyed when Russell T Davies was showrunner so I was like right okay, I'm gonna give him a chance I gave him a chance and I really, really enjoyed what I've seen so far. So I was like, okay. Um, I tried to catch up before the the specials came out at Christmas, and I I just didn't. I just I just didn't. So instead of that, I have gone back. So I know a few spoilers from the um, the giggle because obviously that was spoiler heavy. Um, so I'm just going back. So I am I've just finished the first Capaldi season finale. I'm on the Christmas special for that. So I'm gonna read, I'm gonna watch a little bit of that maybe. Um, I'm just kind of, this is just a weekend where I'm like, you know what? Full decompression, full relax. I've not finished a book this week and I would like to, but I'm not gonna force myself to do anything I don't wanna do. I have cake, I have chocolate I've got ramen I'm just gonna relax and yeah so I'm gonna go and do some writing and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do from there and I will take you along for the ride this is a very very long intro I do apologize um I hope you're still sticking with me and we'll see where this goes hi so it is about one o'clock now I have not read anything yet I wrote some stuff um, we did our little um, writing thing. We did a 30 minute and a 20 minute writing sprint. And I wrote about 1,100 words, which is great. And I'm going to leave it for now because I feel as if sometimes if you write too much, you kind of get lost and get a bit stuck, especially when you're trying to edit and things like that. So I'm going to take a break from that and I'm going to start to read now. I also ate because I was like, I might as well have something to eat beforehand. So I think I'm going to start on deadline. Um, like I said, I'm like this far in. So let me get a timer up. Set. And we're going to start. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, I bet you're wondering, Ashley, why are you back at your house? Like This looks like your house, kind of, with all of the mess. Um... My nana decided she was coming home early and forgot that I was going to be at hers. So she just appeared and was like, oh, and I was like, I'm not going to get anything done. I'm not going to be able to film comfortably. Um, so yeah, I got like that much read, which is like less than 10 pages. I only had my timer on for like eight minutes. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to give myself until nine o'clock. So I'm going to give myself eight hours to see how much I can read. And we're going to do it that. Um, we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world, but we're going to try it. Um, preferably I'd like to finish this and I'd like to get a start on another book and I don't know which book I want to read. Like I have all of the options that I had, but I don't know if I'm feeling those. So we're just gonna we're gonna finish this and see how I feel, and then we're gonna continue on with something else, and we will figure it out. Hello. So I have read for an hour and six minutes, and I'm about a hundred pages into, well, hundred pages from where I started. So I started there. So I've read this much, which I think is a pretty decent chunk in an hour. Um, so I have this much to read. And it's definitely reading better than the first time I read this. So that's amazing. Um, you may be wondering, well, actually, you were downstairs. Why are you now upstairs? I feel like I keep on moving in this vlog and I do apologise. But also, 
ADHD. I have very, very much noticed whilst reading this that I have the attention span for 10 minutes to read this book. Um, if I if I have other things on, I'm struggling. Um, so apparently 10 minutes is like kind of my take a take a break, take a moment, go back to it. Um, but also, I'm very, very cold. It is freezing. And I realised I need to wash my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a nice hot bath and wash my hair and such. So what I'm going to do whilst I'm in the bath before I decide to wash my hair is I'm going to read a little bit more of this. Um, but I'm waiting for the bath to like sort out because I had like some cleaning stuff in. So I'm just emptying that whilst I'm doing this update. Um, but yeah, I've, I've read, I've read for like an hour, which is good. And I'm really, really happy with that. And like I said, I'm going to read, read for as long as I possibly can. But yeah, I'm just kind of like trying to figure out what I'm doing, where I'm going. Don't know what else to say in this. Um, I can't talk much about this book because it's book two in a series. So I can't really tell you much. But yeah, I have I've read like a good chunk, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm going to continue reading. And hopefully I can get this finished today. Um, like I said, I think I should be able to because like I've read like 100 pages in just over an hour. So that's really good. And then if I can get this finished, I'm going to start on something else. And I'm going to try and get like another book read to try and like speed my reading up and get like that sorted. And once I do that... I'll feel a little bit better about everything. So yeah. Hi. So I have washed my hair. I am less than 100 pages off the end of this book. And I'm debating getting Chinese food. <laughs> I'm really, really tempted. I have read for an hour and 48 minutes. And yeah. I've read about 200 pages, which I'm very excited about. Very excited to finish this book. It's been a good kick up the arse, I think, to be fair, to to just like read. And then I'm going to jump into something else. I don't know what I'm going to read next. I have a fair few other books I could read, so we're going to see. Yeah, we're just going to kind of go from there. Hi. First off, apologies if you can hear sound in the background. My neighbours came back and have been playing music for two, three hours, which is fun. So I have an ambient sound music um, playing in the background to try and block that out and I finished this um it was a struggle because of the music um but I finished it and yeah I really enjoyed this book I forgot how it ended in some senses there was some things that I knew were coming um but there was like one or two things that I was like oh I forgot this happened which was great um I very, very much enjoyed this book. I enjoyed this a lot more than I did last time. Last time it got a four stars and it mostly got the four stars because of something that happened that I'm not going to go into and I'm not going to explain why, but basically something happened that blew my mind and it was in this. Um, however, the first time that I read this, I didn't love it. I thought it was a bit no book syndrome -y. Um, there's a lot that goes on with one of the characters that I don't love and I'm not going to say anything because spoilers. However, this time when I was reading it, I really, really enjoyed it. I think that it was a really, really well done book. I think there is a lot of aspect in this book that is very, very interesting and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really glad about that. It's still going to stay as a four star because I don't think I love it as much as I love Feed. But it's really nice to know that I actually really enjoy the series as a whole instead of just as like one book plus some others. Now, you may be wondering, actually, what does that mean now? Are you going to read like Akamath? Are you going to read like one of the books on your TBR? And honestly, I don't know. I'm exhausted from like a headache. So I'm going to take some paracetamol. I also have a nice little fancy drink in a book, in a thing that I got from a Luma crate. Um, so I, I got some gin for my birthday, so cheers to that. And I don't know, I don't know what to read. 
I do want to read something but I don't want to read anything too much if that makes sense like I don't want to read a book that is going to fuck with my head I don't want to read a book that I'm going to have to think too heavily about um so that rolls out Akamath because I need to have thoughts when I do the live show so that's out um it rules out I could read An Ember in the Ashes because that's a reread but I don't really want to do a reread um it rules out Empire of Gold because that is a big one that's chunky and probably a bit involved um so I think what I'm gonna do I bought two books from Waterstones on Friday and one of them looks like it's just gonna be smut like mindless smut so I think I'm gonna read that because I think I need that I think I look exhausted now which is fun it tells you just how much this drains me but yeah I'm gonna go and take some paracetamol pick up a book that is just just seems like it's gonna be something silly and weird and a little bit like turn your brain off and see if that helps I have been reading approximately I've had to turn it off and on and I kept missing it but for approximately three hours I've been reading so that's good I'm going to try and aim for six hours full reading by tomorrow but I don't know if that's going to happen but yeah I'm just going to kind of hope for the best and see where it goes hello so it's a bit later and I've read quite a bit of The Lost Dragon which is the book that I decided to pick up this is the book that I picked up on Friday and I have read a substantial amount. Um, I'm about 108 pages in. And I thought this was going to be quite a fun, simple, easy romantic -y. And it is definitely a romantic -y, and it is very easy. And I would even say a bit fun. There were some things in this, the trigger ones, if you're going into this, please look up the trigger warning straight away um because like it has a content warning at the beginning that it's like quite a serious content warning so i really appreciate that that was there um none of the triggers for me thankfully um but i don't know how i feel about this this book on book on page two had a thing that kind of took me out of it a bit and I'm just kind of this is this this is at most going to be a three star. It's going to be, if it's going to be a good time, it's going to be a good time, um, but it's not going to be anything like seriously amazing for me personally. I do you think it's really difficult because the main character is very very much like oh like the the entire world is set up as the men do the men things and the women do the women things, and everyone's kind of like oh well just leave that to the men and i'm just like ew really like i don't want that in my fantasy in 2024 i don't want that when did this when was this book originally published this book was originally published in 2022 so it does just kind of annoy me but you know I'm going to continue with it. I think that I'm going to be able to get through it either today or tomorrow, which would be great. It isn't a long book. It's only like less than two, um, 350 pages. So I should be able to get through this quite quickly. We shall see. Hi. So it is now Monday and I have finished The Last Dragon King. I have some complicated um feelings about this book you maybe will hear your reins just started pissing it down um some of the some of them that i have already spoke about in this vlog some things that i haven't but i think the main thing is i this is going to get a two star um i feel as if it was too short for the story that it wanted to be um i it, it wants to be a fantasy romance and i don't think that the plot was the, the the fantasy element of this was uh, no sorry sorry no the fantasy element was decent the romance element I think was a bit poorer so I think that like 
and and here's the thing i'm not even saying like smutty i assume this would be a smutty book it has one smut scene and apart from that it is pretty clean that's absolutely fine you do not need to have smut in a book to be a fantasy romance my issue with it is the romance didn't scream well developed to me that sounds really bitchy but it just feel as if it was very insta lovey which i don't love there was also a bit of a like romance conflict in this that you're getting like a typical contemporary romance where it's like the third act breakup type thing and there was something kind of like this but i didn't love how that was done either um so yeah i finished this book though so that's great so now i'm either going to go on to something else or me and becca are starting our buddy read for the month which is fiance Foss. um so i might start that because that's going to be a quick easy um romance that i'm going to be reading um but apart from that i don't know what else if i read any more today which i'm likely going to i will update you on that because this has been a nice little um read and vlog which i really enjoyed um but i can't promise that i'm going to update straight away i will close out this vlog if i don't update but yeah, I'm, I've really enjoyed it. Like, obviously, I've read two books this month, like this this weekend in the past two days. I have finished two books. Um, I read like 411 pages yesterday and I finished this entire book in two days, which is, it's not not usual for me. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to think I'm going to pick up the fiance fast and read like a couple of chapters, see how I feel. And then I don't know what else I want to read. I should read the books that are on my TBR. I have like a very few, like I've got, I've got this week, like the next five days to finish my TBR. Um, and I have like three or four books on my TBR that I've not really started. So I should probably read those. Will I? I don't know. I think this month might be a kind of let's go off TBR month. Because I feel as if I've had quite rigid TBRs for the past couple of months. And I'm I'm very much a mood reader, so sometimes it's nice to go off TBR. I did want to get the ones that I had put out for um, May the TBR. I want to get them done. So I'm going to see if I can juggle things around and have the books that I've already read work for May the TBR. Which they probably will be able to. And I might do that instead. But I do not know. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and pick up the fiancé fast, see how I enjoyed that. I think I'm going to have a bath because I'm freezing. It's really cold today. Um, apart from that, what have I done today? I went shopping. Yay. Um, food shopping, really exciting. Um, and I have some food in the slow cooker. I, make, I batch cook all of my meals for work. So I have a big pot of um, like pasta sauce um like a ragu sauce type thing um cooking in the slow cooker um that's been going for a little while now so hopefully that's really nice and bubbly and delicious and i'm just gonna let that like kind of go at its own pace and yeah i might have some of that tonight i might not i don't know i'm kind of craving noodles but i don't know this is the issue when i have enough like too much choice but I will um, close this this off because you don't need to hear me rambling about what I'm having for my tea. Um, and I will figure it out. Hi. It is um, Tuesday. I was going to update you last night and I just didn't. Um, my head was not in it and I just kind of was like, nope. And then I got in bed and I was like, no, I'm not doing this. So... You get your update now apologies if you can hear anything i'm currently cooking food and also there is some dripping because there has been a lot of rain so i started the fiance fast i am currently about 95 pages in um i was less than this yesterday i was about 67 pages in 65 so i was like on chapter five so i was like that far in um i'm really enjoying it um i will say there's a character called ashley and the same spell it's the same spelling as my name um, which really messed with me for a little while because that that's what, what she's also a bit of a bitch so that was weird and I didn't love that but 
I'm really enjoying the book so far. Um, it's <laughs> probably not the best thing to do whilst I'm away from my girlfriend because like I just I just want to see my girlfriend. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that this is going to be a really interesting book to read. I really enjoyed the her other books and I'm very excited to see where this one goes. Um, however, I'm going to leave this vlog here because I'm not going to continue this when this was supposed to be like a weekend reading. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you read any of the books that I read or if you were interested in them, let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.